1989, the Berlin Wall fell, and the figures who were symbols of communism were pulled from their pedestals. The 67-year-old Mario Comanzoli told the story in his painting, The End of Ideologies. This was the same Comensoli who, during the 70s, had chronicled the epic tale of the poor in Switzerland, the way of life of the immigrants from southern Italy. A choice of subject that some people had mistaken for political commitment. In fact, Comensoli had never been a politician, even though he willingly contributed uplifting illustrations to various union periodicals tied to 1st of May celebrations. He had believed in the 1968 revolution, but then he had distanced himself. You cannot repeat the same slogans forever, he said. It is true that he believed in the principles of solidarity originating from humanism. He had designed posters in favor of equal rights for men and women during the women's strike in 1991. But his vision of the world was not tied to dogma or to myth. His soul was artistically anarchic constantly struggling against those who wanted to bind him into a system. The characters in his pictorial story were in fact young people who were naked, outcasts, squatters and punks who tried to climb over the wall of ideology in search of new horizons, leaving behind them as useless rubbish the symbols of socialism. Comensoli told the story of these pathetic figures, first as bearers of hope, then as characters rejected by history and social institutions in a last resort scenario. <laughs> 